Hey guys, TechMancher with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your phone if you're getting this error message or warning that says charging on hold when you're trying to charge your iPhone. Basically, it says charging will resume when iPhone returns to normal temperature. We're going to explain what that means, why you're getting that warning message, and couple things you can do to quickly get that warning message gone and hopefully charge your phone again. So as you saw, that's the iOS 16 warning that comes out on the phone here. Now, first thing we have to understand why you're getting that message. So iPhones operate best when they're between the temperature of 32 to 95 Fahrenheit or 0 to 35 Celsius. Now, when the phone goes out of those range it might not operate optimally causing the sign to come up so usually when it's too hot if you're putting the phone in a place or somewhere the temperatures over that limit or even below that limit it will stop the charging or put it on hold to basically prevent the phone from damaging itself however we can do a couple things to quickly uh, get that warning message right up but first thing is kind of cooling down the phone so it's best to do it wait for the phone to cool down a little bit some users will do is simply turn off the phone so you'll hold the uh, side button and the volume up at the but at the same time like this and then slide it off and then I'll let it cool down like let it keep it off for about 10 to 15 minutes and then turn it back on and hopefully that will get you charged now let's say you don't want to wait how can we get this resolved quicker well first thing is Again, we want to kind of figure out, okay, what's going on with the software. So we're going to try to get the phone to cool down. And that's going to start with closing out all the apps that you have open here. So we'll go ahead and just close out all the apps to make sure background apps aren't using up data or simply just uh, using, you don't have the resources of the CPU and the RAM, which again causes the hardware to just simply go up so we'll close out all the apps that we have open after that what we'll do is lower the actual brightness on the phone again putting the brightness lower means low less intensity on the battery again preventing it from getting hot now the next thing we want to do is possibly even put in an airplane mode for a bit again not all the time just to kind of see what's happening with the phone you want to do that so it kind of reduces remember if you're in an airplane where you'll lose signal and Wi-Fi but again it's temporarily you want to turn it back on when the charging is happening but they can just a temporary thing just to see if we can get the phone to cool down other thing you want to do is if you have a case on especially one of those heavy duty cases you might want to consider taking it off because you're on the phone to kind of let it breathe or kind of get the air it needs just like with older computers where the PC or that requires the fan to be on you want to let the phone kind of be able to cool down on its own naturally as possible now if you've done all of that and you just want another quick or better solution what else can you do what you can do is go into settings and this time the setting we're going to general and then we'll look at this option where we have for background app refresh what is background app refresh by default you notice it's probably on something like that all of these apps what happens is are running in the background processes basically using up your battery using up your data and it's constantly putting pressure on the phone which could make it hot and depending on the apps that you run there are some apps that could run as rogue in the background just consuming a battery life and just putting a lot of toll on the phone so you can go through this list turn off the ones that you know absolutely you don't need basically it won't refresh meaning well each time you open it you just have to refresh again and get the data so it won't be on the background ready for you when you open it so go through the list turn it off or simply I like to just turn it off completely to save battery and you notice a significant improvement in your battery life and hopefully that can cool down the phone now the other thing you can do again this one's gonna be a little bit more on the extreme side is if you go to settings and then general actually we'll go to battery this time in the settings and then we'll go ahead and look at here the option for battery health and then you see this option where it says optimized battery charging we're going to temporarily turn that off till let's say maybe even tomorrow or completely turn it off and the reason why we want to turn that off is because it tries to optimize the charging once it hits 80 percent so it reduces the battery from going up any further and kind of slowing down the charging so if we want to speed up the charging we turn that off let the phone charge and it will charge but again remember this is a built-in feature and you want that optimized charging so you're 
battery held here stays closer to you know perfect which would be 100 percent so you want that optimized setting on so once the phone has charged and that message goes away i recommend turning it back on so you don't damage your battery and once you have done that and you're still having an issue well it might be time for you to go ahead and do the force restart on the phone so force restart on the iphone 8 and above it's going to be you're going to press and release the volume up and then volume down and then hold this big side button you're going to keep on holding it you're not going to slide to power off because that will be a normal shutdown we're just going to keep on holding that till the phone shuts down and then we're going to keep on holding it till we see the apple logo again Remember, it's volume up or volume down. You have to be very, kind of quick when you do those volume up and down. And then this one, if Siri activates, you just weren't quick enough. But essentially, when you see the Apple logo, let go of the button. And what it does is reloads the phone's software to kind of give it a clean slate. And hopefully, any issues that are happening on the phone it goes away, especially that warning message we've seen. Now, other things to consider if you're still having an issue is the charger cable that you're using. Sometimes if you use a bad cable or non-genuine Apple cable, it can also impact the way the phone charges. So I recommend getting a genuine one. And then after that, what you want to do is after you've done all of that, is make sure your phone, again, if you're still having an issue, is running the latest version of the software. So go into settings and then go software general software update and then you want to look to see if there's a new update out usually updates are good when it comes to phone because they fix any issues around bug or security or anything that could be impacting your phone uh in an when a software glitch again you're going to go ahead and click on download and install and update to the latest version again hopefully that will fix any issue so those are going to be things you want to do hopefully one of those tips help you guys resolve the issue and if so Keep, uh, let us know which of the tips help or if you have a different tip that helps for you to get rid of that warning message leave a comment in the comment section and if this video helped in any way i appreciate if you guys hit that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time